Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tactics Ogre Reborn. Last time we left off, we took out two of the fortresses, and today we're going to take out the two final ones. Uh, I went ahead and put the Superior Helm Haver on Holbrim here, and there was one other character I forgot to put something on. Uh, I forgot to put the Headsman on Fulkert. Uh, so I put both of those on there. I noticed it when I was uh, editing the video yesterday. So... Today, we are going to go take out the final two fortresses. This is my last three and a half hour recording for a little bit, <clears throat> which I'm pretty happy about. So let's go ahead and get in here, because these things take quite a bit of my day. Oh, great cruiser, goddess of water, admit me unto your sacred sanctum. I mean, I, I'm at least happy that I can do this feasibly. Most LPers probably couldn't dedicate three and a half hours uh, every single day to get through these things, but gosh darn it, I have the time, so luckily work from home is a thing. Otherwise, God, if we went back to me working in the office, I'd have to get back to two videos a day again, probably. Luckily, I don't think that's going to happen at this point. Alrighty, so, <clears throat> a big ol' water dungeon. And we got some Valkyries, Cleric, Patriarch, Archer. Okay, nothing too crazy. We'll just go ahead and wipe these nerds out. Probably gonna put a bunch of lightning units in. Lindel is going to shine in this dungeon. And that should be the final kill for this first level here. The first of many. We didn't get, really get anything interesting. I did get a loyalty card on, um, Sistina, and it actually gave me loyalty, so that's cool. Um, I believe people mentioned my loyalty with characters may have taken a hit? I might be misremembering. It may have taken a hit when I was like, yeah, I'll go after the Apocrypha, because, you know, uh, it's a WMD and all of that, and I'm like, oh yeah, give me that, I need that. Definitely, for sure. <coughs> Some people would not like that. Alright, what do we got in here? Octopi, of course, to be expected. Yeah, and a Kraken, of course. Okay, well, you know, pretty simple stuff. Alrighty, that's the final one for this level. <coughs> um, let's see, what all did I get? Uh, I got a Strength card on Sistina, and I believe I got an MP card on Lindel. Eh, I mean, it's something. I did not win without any incapacitated units because uh, I don't have a healer in. Uh, I've just been... While, while there's not a lot of enemies, I've been prioritizing just having as much damage in as possible, which usually means some of my characters die, but... It's fine. But, uh, I'll put a healer in this level. We can drop Sherry for Olivia. Sounds good to me. Okay, so what are we dealing with? We have one of the Blood Gavials here. Gavial. 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 And... Yeah, I mean... Nothing too wild, just another Kraken that's pretty, pretty easy to kill, so, yep. Alright, that's Tristan dead. We got two resistance cards on Canopus and a dexterity card on Denim. And, uh, I think a luck card on somebody, but luck doesn't, uh, super matter, it seems, since people said it, like, changes daily or something like that, so. You know. Alright, third descent, so two more of these and then the final level, and we are there. The recording's at 30 minutes so far, we're, we're pretty good for time... ...today. So, now, there be dragons. Uh, well, I definitely think I'm gonna set Sistina up to kill the dragons... ...rather than kill the octopi. So I'm gonna have to swap this over and inevitably forget about it later. Which is, uh, fantastic. Alright, it's another battle down. I think all I got was a resistance card on Denim, so... Nothing too crazy. Oh, Uh... Falkert did go down, so I, I did lose out on the water charm, but... It's fine. God, we're getting a lot of XP charms. God, we're getting a lot of them. But there's no one worth using them on. Not right now. <clears throat> Once I, uh, up my party level, I can use them on some of my characters. Just to catch everyone back up. Alright, now we're up to ten slots. And we have pits! 
Oh, Pits, how I missed you. How I missed you, Pits. This is the Pits. Okay, so... We got two dragons, and we got two Dagon. So, that's annoying. Alright, here we are. We're doing a murder. The only unfortunate bit about having the Headsman on Fulkert is, yeah, it's the big cool new weapon, but it doesn't get to apply Breach for free. Which, uh, is a bit unfortunate. And, uh, I also put Derwin into that battle, so he could level up. So, there we go, Derwin's level 33. I just, I, I wanted another Dragoon to, uh, to beat the shit out of the, uh, Octopi, the Dagon. The deepest level of the temple, here one is closest to Gruza, it is said. <clears throat> okay, this is probably gonna be an octopus, right? Well, Derwin's definitely in. Derwin also has the benefit of being lightning, so... That helps as well. Uh... Sherry and... Murden. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Trying to consider if, for now, I should just take the headsman off. I mean, it's nice that it does more damage to humans and stuff. Like, that's cool and everything. But... I really, really miss... My Breach. And the damage difference isn't that much. So you know what? Back on the Claymore, Fulkert. Sorry. Kind of the whole benefit of the two-handed, uh... The two-handed swords is... The, the debuffs you can inflict, so... Oh, wow, they're super close. Oh, this is probably gonna be a pretty fast one, then. Good! <clears throat> the video's at... An hour currently, so can can we maybe finish all the fortresses off in, in three hour under three hours today? I am servant to Gruza, goddess of water. Yeah, that's not a bad voice for an octopus. You who would become a true oracle must face a trial. Defeat me and prove your quality before the goddess. Will do. Will do. Alright, Lawlock. That's a... Uh, that's a name. I feel like I've seen that before. Lawlock. The L and the A being beside a T makes me think of, like... Aztec gods and stuff, just in the, the way Aztec things are spelled from... My, albeit incredibly, incredibly stupid and limited experience playing, like, Civilization and playing the Aztecs, but it's like, I don't know, it reminds me of, like, Tenochtitlan and stuff, and stuff like that, so... Tlaloc, but I, I probably am wrong. Uh, okay. You have Maelstrom, which doesn't sound fun, and let's look at your description. Said to be, who have been born from the tears of Gruza, goddess of water, shed for her lost son. Tlaloc has been called a god of rain and of disasters. When the great winds blow and the floods come, people say it is the work of Tlaloc. Good old Tlaloc. Blessing us with water. Okay, let's murder some uh, some creatures here. So, Derwin is the one that is doing the big murder on the beasts. So, also, uh, our cell is incredibly useful with this bow because you can just stun people so easily. It's super, super nice. All right, Denim. Uh, I just want you to pick up the extra damage, please. For now. Sherry. Uh, you can stab from there. Yeah. Go ahead and stab Perseus. Where's Theseus at? And his ship. <coughs> uh... Canopus? Canopus' axes have been doing pretty well for him, I think. Uh... It does more damage than the guns, and he can kind of just run in and wail on people, which is nice. It doesn't quite do as much damage as Azulstan, but, uh, that's fine. He'd probably do more damage if I was fighting more humans, to be fair. There haven't been very many human enemies in this particular, uh, battle. In this Hugh Hugh. It would leave the other one with just that little bit of HP, which pisses me off. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. Boosh. Good. Yeah, see, I mean, it, you still... You still do a lot of damage, even with weak weapons, as Derwin showcases pretty well here. Like, you can have a weak weapon and still do very, very nice damage. Um, so... It's not like we need the Headsman. I just wanted it on because it's the cool weapon that I got as a reward for doing the cool thing. But, uh... Eh. This is more effective. So... 
Maybe if we can upgrade the headsman at some point, maybe it would get some kind of cool secondary ability, which would be nice, but uh... <clears throat> right now, not needed. Are you trying to die, random octopus? Yes, please come down here, Koala. Okay, never mind. Just stay up there. Just sit up there on your ass. Fine with me. Jeez. Owie. And Olivia. Nothing really for you to do. I've used this all of once. You do have to be, like, in item range, which is unfortunate to use it. But, uh, I mean, it has its uses. It has its uses. Uh, Denim, I'm gonna bonus with this you. You have that physical damage up after all. Alrighty. Lament of the Dead. It's a free Frighten there. That's an MP card. Ooh, you're a... Uh, breach. Oh god, I just really messed up your friend because of your risk management, my god. Are you gonna thank your friend for that? They just took a lot of hits for you. And now they're gonna die for you. That's messed up. Okay. Uh, get that auto skill. Good job, Sherry. Alrighty. The boss should start moving towards me soon. The MP and HP up cards feel like they do so little, I swear. I do also have about a billion charms I need to use from this fight, so, uh... <clears throat> let's try and keep that in mind from, from these various fights. Uh... 316? 316's good. There we go. Al. And Sistina. Yeah, I suppose I could have just put you on Annihilate Beasts as well. Uh, I, I still have you on Dragons, but... Darwin's got it covered, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, let's ruinate you. Just so I don't hit Sherry. There we go. Okay, the boss is on its way. There's Dread Vapor. That's fine. Denim can take it. Some good old Beast Banes for everyone. Can you stab? That's way too high for you to stab both of them. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can still do pretty good damage. Oh, yeah, you can still hit him because this idiot has risk management. Risk management when you have breach is a dangerous game because people can just super kill your friends. <laughs> really, really easily. My god. Uh, you do have enough to do your long ranged attack. I think I might have you do that, Murden. Uh, Howling Rage. Yeah, I'm Tlaloc. Yeah, I definitely recognize that from something. Might might look that up in a second. You know what? While uh, all of these different effects go off here and everything, let's uh, give you something to do, Fulkert. Uh, you already have a bunch of people spooked. Uh, sure, hit Gobana. Um, all right. And yeah, let's see. Type on my phone here. Uh. Yes, delete that search. Why do I care about that search? Okay. Claw lock. Okay. Uh... Let's see here. Canopus. Probably just want you to do this. I mean, the answer is it's it's some kind of god from some kind of mythos that I'm recognizing because... Um, video games love just grabbing random obscure god names and being like, Haha! This is the god, no god in our world too! Uh... It is an Aztec god, oh my god. Wow. Awesome. I was actually right. Like I said, it, it sounded like, or seemed like, the, the pronunciation went with a, with a lot of um, other Aztec words that I've seen before. But uh, it is nice to actually be correct about it. Um, I'll see exactly what it is in just a second here. Uh, Denim can't get out. Denim's currently surrounded by, by beasts. So, let's go ahead and kill that. Uh... Is the Aztec Rain God. Representations of a Rain God wearing a peculiar mask with large round eyes and long fangs date at least back to the... Well, the Tetehuacan culture of the Highlands. I definitely butchered that. <coughs> cool. So yeah, Rain God of the Aztecs. Nito, Nito. Well, 
let's finish killing the rain god of the Aztecs here. Uh huh. So, what do we got? 214. I mean, poisoning would probably be better if I can poison you. There we go. Enjoy that. Uh, someone did mention in the comments, uh, I believe that poison goes off every five turns. So that's a that's a thing. I think the comment just said like it's poison five turns basically. So I'm assuming that's what it means. It just goes off every five turns. So I'll go ahead and sanguine assault here. And not the craziest damage. Because uh Denim's not the best at taking this particular character out. But you are extra extra poison now. So that's cool. Went into the dead. You can go ahead and get in there too, Fulkert. Smack the thing around. Ooh, it's breached now too. Now Azelstan can probably just finish it. No? Man, this is a tanky bastard. Breached, poisoned, stunned. The works. Uh. Shish, shish kebab, these two, I suppose. Good stuff. Uh. You can hit, but it's not gonna kill. Unfortunately. So, just, uh. Hmm. Can I kill you? You? Let's just shoot you. There you go. The boss is moving. More dread vapor for me. It's fine, though. You think you're so cute. Slapping me around. At least I've killed a lot of the enemies. If not all of them. Er, not, not if not all of them, but... You know, you know what I mean. I haven't killed them all, but I've killed some at least. It's <clears throat> basically what I'm attempting to say, but my body is like, no. There we go. More drops. And... Sherry might be able to finish the boss? Nah. Nah. <clears throat> Definitely not gonna happen. Let's just, uh, crack fall these dorks. This boss is very tanky. Tankier than the other ones, I feel. But, uh, part of that's because I haven't gotten my... my whatchamacallums up there to just murder it yet. Canopus, can you do it? 273... Nope, Canopus can't reach. Uh... Canopus can kill this octopus, though. I was trying to get through this without anyone dying, but, uh, I think someone's gonna go down. Uh, I could heal Sherry, but there's still a chance they'll just kill someone else. But, let's get up here and heal Sherry. Let's use our special heal. I just brandished the staff in 300 HP. I like that about, uh, old JRPGs, like old Final Fantasy games and stuff, and, you know, like D&D &D and stuff has this as well, which is where Final Fantasy got it from. Just, um, the idea of, like, a particular weapon that you have may still be useful because it has a spell attached to it. Like, if you use it as an item, you can cast this. I like that. It's really cool. It makes, like, earlier game stuff... ...still useful sometimes. <clears throat> Alrighty, here we go. That's uh, that's an octopus down. Gonna unzip my jacket. Oh, the unzipping of the jacket of victory. Codex of Jewelry four: axes, spear, and hammer. Excess items have been converted to goth. Oh god, we have excess items now. And I got dread vapor. Beautiful. And I got some more strength charms. Okay, so, Derwin, congrats on your level. Whew, Slayer of the Water Watch. We are getting there. Let's go check out the party. I have some charms I would like to use. There's quite a few of these things rocking around in here. Uh, let's give Canopus some strength charms. I feel like Canopus could use it. So, let's just, uh, get Canopus caught up here a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Just give them all to Canopus. Just give them all to Canopus. We'll give the Dex to Denim. Or... Or I can give it to, like, RSL. Let's give it to RSL. Yeah, let's try and catch you up with Lindel a little bit. 
Uh, sure, you can have the agility as well, because, you know. Uh, max HP goes on Olivia, so the Olivia can be just a wee bit tankier. And Vitality goes on... You know what, why don't we just put those on Olivia too? At least a good amount of them. Let's put the rest on Venom. <clears throat> We're slowly approaching the point where I have like 200 plus stats on some of my characters. I mean, some of them already do, like Sherry and Lindel, but... Whew. Okay, so that was a lot of stuff. So we got... It's, it was jewelry, axes, hammers, and spears, right? So let's go check that out at the shop. I have no funds, so we are going to have to raise some money here. Alright, I'd say that's a pretty good amount of money. 270,000 goth. Pretty easy to come by with all the equipment drops and everything we're getting. So, axes. We got the dragon axe and the balbriggan. And the Damascus axe, of course. Cool. So I can't make the Damascus axe, which is fine because I don't really want it anyway. Uh, because it's two handed. The Balbriggan requires a Lightning Crystallos. And the Dragon Axe, which of course does extra damage to dragons. Uh, hmm. So the Chakmok you're currently using does extra damage to humans. This does extra damage to dragons. Hmm. I do have enough to make two of these, so... You know what? Let's just make two of those. The Balbriggan, I would need a Lightning Crystallis for, but the Dragon Axes just seem better. Or, oh wait, no, the Dragon Axes are two-handed. Shit. Okay, no, so we do need two of the Balbriggans. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, well, I have those if I want to put them on Canopus at some what point. Or I could give it to, like, um... Yeah, I could, like, take the shield off of Gildas and give him a Dragon Axe. I suppose. Well, we have them now. That's that's the important thing. So say? beautiful. Two Balbriggans for our good friend Canopus. Good, good. So spears I am interested in. The corn le sorn. Corn le corn. Damascus spear, what does that do? That just stuns on hit. I mean <clears throat> I don't think the either of these on hit light averse. I mean, eh. I think I would rather just the Damascus Spear, um, specifically for, um, uh, Sistina. So, yeah, let's just, let's just get the, uh, Damascus Spear there. Not super interested in either of these. Their own hit effects aren't super great. If, um, I could upgrade them, they would be better, and maybe I can at some point. Hammers, Uhuk. The Yggdrasil Gnarl. Oh, beautiful. You have a Maul? <laughs> Uhuk is going to have a Maul made out of Yggdrasil, the world tree. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. Give me. Uh, I need to make the Ice Crystallos. Let's make one. And now I can craft it. sure? Oh, that's- that's a wonderful weapon for Uhuk. The Damascus Hammer plus one would also be very good, but, uh... Come on, it's the Yggdrasil Gnarl. You gotta. And I could get a Dragon Hammer, but... eh. It's fine. Alright, and then we got, uh, more jewelry, if I remember correctly. So... what else did we get? Um... I'm guessing it's a new earring? Is it just the rest of these? Did I not have all of them before? I thought I had them all before, but maybe I didn't? Because I'm not seeing anything new here. Yeah. Uh, let me just check really quickly to make sure I'm not crazy. That is what we got, wasn't it? Uh... Codex of Jewelry. Oh, I got another Codex of Jewelry for it. Yeah, I already had the Codex of Jewelry for. Okay, so that's just a that's just a dupe. Yeah, we already have for the expert to superior. Yeah, we already had that. Where's Codex of Jewelry three? <laughs> I don't have Codex of Jewelry three. 
I just skipped straight to four. We have two fours. All right, weird. So, uh, yeah, we got some, uh, some new things. Here you are, cannabis. Enjoy those. Do wish I could upgrade them, but you know. And then, uh, I got the upgraded one of these for you. Boom. That looks good to me. Oh, I have a ring of vitality on you? Disgusting. Take the warrior's ring. I have another ring of the horde I could upgrade. Let's just, let's just go ahead and do that really quickly. Uh... Over here. Okay, ring of the horde plus one. Here's yes. Thank you. Okay. So, that is that done, and now all we have to do is go to G Getcho Fortress. The final one. Let's go ahead and put the better ring on Sestina here. So she can have a better strength stat. There you are. Enjoy that. Okay, off to Getcho. We have 250,000 goth. <clears throat> oh, Vasa, goddess of earth, admit me unto your sacred sanctum. Here we are, finally the earth temple. And there were supposed to be two more, right? Because there's supposed to be a light and dark temple, but people don't know where they are. I think I remember reading that in one of the Warren Report entries, so... Abandoned fortress on Benisunga. Benis Originally an ancient temple. Alright. Here we are! We've made it, honey, I'm home! Alright, so this is Earth, so we're gonna want to use, um... That would be wind, right? Yeah, air. Okay. So we're gonna want to use as many air characters as we want, which is good, because I like Canopus, Azelstan, and we can even throw Uhuk in. Oh yeah, and Uhuk has to get his, uh, new maul. The Yggdrasil Gnarl. There you go, take it. It just sounds cool, alright? It just sounds awesome. I still think the Damascus, the upgraded Damascus one would probably be better, because it has an on-hit effect, and I think it did more damage, but... You can't deny how cool it is. Uh, let's go ahead and scout the battle, just so people can see it. Uh, ooh, the game was quiet there for a second. Ooh, we might be dealing with golems in here. Ew, undead. Ugh, disgusting. Alright, well, the Nalto looks like he's gonna get some, uh, some time here. I also have exercise on Denim, so... Could just use Denim. Alright, as long as Bird of the Younger kills here, just barely, we are good. Huh. Annoying. I don't like that this dungeon is going to have undead in it. It's just gonna make my entire life that much harder. Oh hey, Damascus Mitts and Damascus Mail though. That's pretty good. Those are those are new. Well that's neat though. Okay. Didn't get a lot of XP, but uh who cares? Alright, so Temple of Vasa. Oh god, not enough to fully restock. I think I'm out of uh Grimoire exercise exorcisms. I think I'm out of them. I think that's what that's, uh, talking about. Yep. Okay, well, uh, Donalto's definitely gonna have to go in. Denim can't handle it all on his own. And yes, I was also using, uh, Berta and Obda. Because why not? Alrighty, so what do we got? More Zambonis. Great. Great, and we even have a necromancer to deal with as well. Well, that's no fun. That is another level down. And yes, this is going to be a pain in the ass, and I'm probably not going to get a lot of drops from this place. Yay, one linen slop. Beautiful. Beautiful. God, this place sucks. This place sucks. I mean, at least there's not a bunch of pits. I shouldn't get ahead of myself. I shouldn't get ahead of myself. That's a bad. Don't do that. Don't jinx yourself. Uh... Okay, not pits. Quicksand, or just sand, but not... Oh, no, no, it is quicksand. It is quicksand. Okay. Quicksand and zombies. That's a... Sounds like a fantastic Friday night to me. Well, it's... It's Thursday night, but... You, you know what I mean. 
All right, this is it. I did manage to uh, exercise most of the enemies this time, so... <clears throat> That's pretty good. I got a strength card on Denim, I believe, and an intelligence card on Sherry. Which was uh, pretty nice. I'm glad I'm getting this Damascus mail. This'll, uh, this'll be useful, so... Oh, what number is that one? Oh, that's just number two. We still got... Oh, we still got three more. We still got three more! Oh! Alrighty. What are we looking at? We got... more Zambos. More... more Zambos. That's what we... Oh, God, it's the stupid white class. Oh, I hate this thing. Oh, this class is so annoying. I absolutely despise every single fiber of their being. I want them to go all the way to hell. Alrighty, there's another fight done. Phew, actually wasn't paying attention at the end of that one. I didn't know that was the last enemy, but uh, that was the last enemy. Whew. There's another one down. Hit me with the next one. Alright, only two more. Only two more, and then I'm done. So, yeah, this one might be a pretty quick episode, actually. Depending on how this battle goes. What are we looking at? Ooh, we got pit. Ooh, we got pits. Yike. Don't like that the, uh... Don't like that the pits exist. Hmm. Okay, well that's, uh... That's gonna be slightly annoying. But, uh, we have Dragoons for this. So, yeah. Alright. That one is done. Wasn't so bad. There was an archer that shot Uhuk off, like, three times in a row. I had to Chariot Terror for that, but... I mean, there was nothing interesting about it. It wasn't even a haha -ha moment or anything. It was just, oh, Uhuk fell again. And, uh, I kept having to go back, but... <laughs> Okay, the Sanctum of Vasa. At least it looks like a short one. The deepest level of the temple here, one is closest to Vasa, it is said. <coughs> oh. And here's the squad I've been running with, in case you were curious. Um, I think I'm gonna put Olivia in, and... Fulkert. Fulkert. I'm feeling the Fulkert. Alrighty, so what do we got? Ooh, we're actually moving towards them. N Nathalork? More like Nathadork, am I right? Uh, a beast man said to have been created by Vasa, goddess of Earth, to serve her in eternity, called the Ravager for his violence. Vasa uses him as a watchdog. What are you considered? A beast. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, I can do beast damage. <laughs> or I can do, uh, increase beast damage to you. Wait, do you have Gordian Lock? No, that's Rampart. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> okay, this doesn't seem, uh, this doesn't seem so bad. I do have to swap Sistina over to Beast Slang. So let's go ahead and do that. And otherwise, I believe we are good. Uh, most of the other characters I have in here, I just kind of have in here for shits and giggles. Maybe we swap out Gamp for Surya. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> We are finally done with the fortresses. My god. I am servant to Vasa, goddess of Earth. You who would become- Yeah, yeah, we've heard it all before, friend. I'm not, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna sit through that again, Netha dork. Yeah, I said it. What are you gonna do about it? Come over here and make me take it back. Alright, we got some golems to deal with. <laughs> They'll be kind of annoying, but nothing too bad. Uh, as is per use, I will just be running towards the boss and absolutely killing them as quickly as I possibly can. We've gotten a fair few drops from this uh, from this place, which is good. The, the the Damascus mail will be quite nice. I wish there was like a light armor equivalent, like Damascus chain mail or something. Though chain mail's not light, but it's lighter than plate mail is. So, alrighty, come at me. There's a bunch of undead, which even less reason to worry about killing everything. Canopus can probably go in there and do a pretty good amount of work. Azelstan as well, but Canopus can fly over everything, so he's a little bit more suited to the task. That is what I love about Buccaneer. Canopus can fly and has speedster. 
With the two axes, you feel a lot more useful than you were with just the gun. The guns are okay. I just wish you could dual wield them. Maybe they decided that would be too busted, but I'm thoroughly, thoroughly in the camp of I don't care um, if there's something busted in your game, as long as it's fun. I love that. I like enjoyment first. And if I want to go around being a rootin' tootin' double shooty buccaneer that's flying all over the place, I think I should be able to. Increased physical damage for you. Stabby for Canopus. Yes, yes, come to me. Come to Butthead. I said that last time, I know I did. I know I did. Claudian. Uh... Okay, go ahead and grab that. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother killing all of these enemies. The boss is coming towards me, so the boss will die. Uh, that does remind me, I need to take, uh, I put Gordian Lock on Sherry without checking if the golems actually had Gordian Lock at any point. None of them ever did, thank god. Thank you to whatever developer was like, you know what, I'm not gonna put people through that, there's a lot of golems in this dungeon. <laughs> Let's not get any of them Gordian Lock. Um, so that wasn't needed, but I need to swap it off. Boom. Alright, Canopus, go ahead and get in there if you can. You can wail on this idiot. These axes do a lot of damage. I do quite like them. Doesn't seem like you can jump down. These stupid skeletons here are clogging up the way with their rampart. I would honestly rather, instead of rampart, it was an attack of opportunity. I would rather take an attack, attack of opportunity. Which is to say the thing from, like, CRPGs and, uh, D&D and stuff where, um, if you're near a character, if you're in melee range of a character with a melee weapon, when you try to move away from them, you take a free hit. I would rather that than Rampart Aura. It's so useful at just locking you down. And if the developers place their chess pieces right, then gods is it annoying. <clears throat> I wish we got, like, another unique winged character. Maybe we still do. I haven't gotten all the characters yet. So, maybe there's still hope. But god, it would be cool. Uh... Wait, why are you out of range? Why can I stab over there? Mask of Spear? Does this thing... Does this thing have weird range? It does! Two out of three range! Oh! Oh my god, I only... I've been using Sestina this whole time and have quite honestly only just now noticed the extra range on this spear. Um, well that's actually a detriment right now, but cool I guess? Yeah, so it's just an extra long spear. I, I think it like, I noticed it at one point, like half noticed it. I'm basically watching a video while I'm going through this. I think I half noticed it at one point and was like, huh, that's weird, and then just kind of ignored it. It was like, I don't know, I thought- I thought something else was causing it or something. But no, it's just- it has extra range. Cool. Neato. Get out of here, please. Oh, thank you, we moved you back at least. That's something. We're slowly but surely making progress. You need a tremendous shot. Who are you tremendously shooting? Olivia? Oh, no, Donato. It's the second crossbow you've got to the face, old man. <sighs> That's a dead Donalto. But the boss is over here, and as soon as I clear out all of these rampart bastards, we'll be good. Uh, can I hit the boss with that? No, I'm hitting somebody in the back of the head. All right, let's just hit like so. Stuff. Oh my god. They're just gonna clog up the way with Rampart characters, aren't they? That's exactly what they're doing. Oh, you bastards. Oh, you bastards. Alright, well, just start cutting a path through, I suppose. Canopus will be able to do some work in just a second, and if I could get some magic on Denim, that would be good. God, yeah, this sucks. Saria's the only one I sent the other path because she's the only one that can really do anything over there. 
Okay, Gilliam is at least dead, or Gillian. Uh, yeah. We need some more people, uh, exercising. Unfortunately, Donalto is dead, and he was my, uh, my other main exerciser. Well, it's gonna be up to Didim to get rid of these bodies. Uh, Uhuk, you can move over here, I suppose. God, yeah, I was like, oh man, this, uh, this battlefield is pretty small. That's gonna, that's gonna make things a little bit easier. No. No, it's not. Because it's, god, everything's just gonna be clogged. Now would be a fantastic time to have lobber on someone with the, uh, grimoire things. Okay, we're slowly but surely making our way downtown. Walking fast and we're homebound. There we go. <coughs> Okay. When Canopus' turn comes around next millennia, we'll be able to fly to that damage up and hit the boss pretty hard. And then Surya's chilling up there. Ow. There are definitely ways I could have went better about this, but after doing these battles for two and a half hours, my brain kind of turns to mush. Just the mushiest mush you've ever mushed. There we go. Uh... Okay... You can kind of... Eh, I don't know, hit the stupid thing? Ooh, you can do big damage to the boss, actually. Yeah. <coughs> oh, no, I moved the... Damn it. Moved the boss into the physical up that I wanted. That was supposed to be mine! Damn you. Okay, Eagle Eye. Yeah, there's not a lot of enemies. They just are set up in the most annoying fashion possible. Okay, Sherry. Okay, let's see, can we get you to a better spot so you can hit this jackass? This is just gonna hit Azelstan in the back of the head, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's gonna hit the corpse. Do it all. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That's pretty good damage. Hit Gildas as well, or er, uh, Murden as well, but it'll be fine. Damn it, you still didn't get enough MP, Olivia. I'm so tired of you, and you're not getting MP. <sighs> At least you can use this for free. I wanted you to revive Donalto so we could clear some of these bodies, but... You have the- you have the exorcism. Okay, well let's go ahead and, uh... Get rid of this. Thank you. And, Denim, you can exorcise something. Thank you. My god. I should have put the Rampart Aura immunity thing on my- on my characters, but... Like I said, I never use that, because... It, uh, it lowers my movement, and I hate having my movement lowered, but if I can't move anyway, then... Oh. Oh, God. This thing is more trouble than it's worth, I tell you. Um... This thing is more trouble than it's worth. If I could just swing, even though, it wouldn't be so bad. Uh, I'm just gonna have to end my turn and then Chariot Terra back, I suppose. Uh, yep, there we go. Okay, let's do that again. <clears throat> this time, I'll be able to hit them. Poof, yeah, you gotta watch where you are with this thing. My god. Azelstan, I think you can do it. Yes, beautiful. Poof. Magnificent. A true oracle you are. Unto you I grant the revelation and power of the goddess. Thank you. I'll kindly die in the deepest recesses of hell for all of this rampart shenanigans you set up. <sighs> okay. We got armor craft, which makes sense. We got earthquake, which makes sense. <sighs> Give me my shit. 
Thank you. Two and a half hours. Still faster than the other ones. You received an Oracle's Mark. Yay! We got the Oracle class! Wait, what? Is it gonna... What? What is this? Why did it not put me outside of the dungeon like all the other ones have? Oh. What? Did it- is it serious? Is it serious right now? Withdrawal? Okay, okay, I can't return to the world map from here. Okay. Whew. I thought it was gonna make me redo the- the little battle there. Okay, so now all the dungeons have repopped because I can go back in them as far as I understand and I get better stuff if I go all the way through them again, which sounds like the worst form of torture imaginable I could conceive for myself. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh... Grimsby. I can... I can... can craft the armor. Huh. <sighs> Ancient Dragon Scale, that, that's the shield. Um, worm Scale Armor. We need Damascus Mail. Okay. We need Damascus Mail plus, uh, plus one, and then we can turn it into Worm Scale Armor. Well, I might as well go ahead and uh, craft, like, upgrade all of these. I only got two. So those are gonna be uh, a bit rare. We did get a bunch of Damascus Mitts, though. So let's upgrade those as well. Sure? Well, two. Never mind. A bunch, I say. And I got one Damascus leggings that we Let's can't upgrade. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that's everything. Oh wait, no, I did. Oh, I didn't get a Damascus helm though. Uh, well, we need enchanted feathers to update it anyway, or upgrade it. Farewell. Okay. Okay. Party, denim. Uh, who needs the actual Damascus mail? Uh, probably just denim. Gives you extra strength. So, sure, denim, and you know what? Canopus, you take the other one. Canopus is my boy. I love Canopus. And as far as the gauntlets go, you'll actually lose stats. Putting those on. You can take the mitts. And sure, Sistina can take the mitts. Ugh. And before I forget, let's buy... Uh, yes, yes, I'm, I'm getting to the Oracle thing. I have not forgotten, but I want to buy, uh... My stuff. Where's, where's my stuff? I scrolled past my stuff. Consumables. It's the, the grimoire. Wait, did they not sell it here? What is this? Oh wait, no, there it is. Oh my god. Scrolled right past it. Can you tell my brain is mush? Okay. Whew. Whew. Alright. Oracle class. I imagine this is gonna be a mage type class, probably for you. Oh. It said Oracle. Shaman. Oracle serving the mini gods. Okay, well it says it right there. Mini gods of Valeria. Shamans are adept at wielding elemental magic. You get an extra movement. Okay. Well, I mean, I probably want Cherry on this class. So let's go ahead and put you on there. You can equip your book and your staff like normal. Now, what else do you get access to? Uh, I imagine you get to use the spells that I just got, yes? Yes. Earthquake. Indirect earth spell that causes tremors to shake the earth, dealing heavy earth damage to multiple targets, has a chance to inflict earth averse. Awesome. And it's 70. So it, you know, it's better than Cragfall. We'll go ahead and put it over Cragfall. You can't equip uh, anything else crazy, can you? I wonder if you can equip, like, the Wendigo stuff and stuff, and all that. Maybe not. I don't think I have one. Yeah, I don't have one of them yet, but it would be cool if you could equip one of those. Uh... Alright. There we go. I could swap, uh, someone else to it, so can you... Okay, you can't equip heals. I was gonna say, if you could, I would swap Olivia over to that, but... You can't equip heals on this class, it's just elemental magic. Unfortunately, and no one else really has 
anywhere near the intelligence that Sherry does, so... I think this is mostly a Sherry-specific class. Alrighty. Well, there we go. And... Skills, Nature's Whisper. Reveal the state of the eight elements on the battlefield. Excuse me? What? Is it talking about when, like, because the battlefield can have a certain element associated with it or whatever? We learned that. Uh, okay, yeah. All the resonances. Engulf, concentration. Okay. Interesting. I think out of these... You know, I'm gonna put Nature's Whisper on just to see what exactly it is. Uh, but... Yeah. Huh. Feel the state of the eight elements on the battlefield. Interesting. I mean, that that has to be talking about the, like... I swear, I basically never interacted with it, because there's just so much to interact with in this game. But, um, the, like, each level, or each stage has, like, an element associated with it, and you can change what element is associated or whatever. So there's that. Okay. Okay, we've done all of this garbage. Um, as far as I understand, I shouldn't go into the Palace of the Dead yet. Um, before we go to Heim, uh, next time I'll probably run around the map and make sure I'm not missing any random events on the map. But we are done with the fortresses. We'll save the Palace of the Dead for after. <sighs> Thank you for uh, coming on this incredibly long adventure with me. I hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you next time for some more.